Aloha, this is the Green Lightning Mr. T, and welcome back to some more Dishonored. Hmm. <clears throat> more Dishonored. Yeah. Whatever. So, we're back in the Hound Pits pub, and this should be. <laughs> I don't know why it's relevant to but <laughs> I always feel like talking about, like, what session I'm on. So, this is. It's jammed! Oh no, I broke the door! Ah! Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov, and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you, too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Yikes. Lydia's the... You have anything else? I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Okay. Ooh, we got walkers. I wanted to listen to the conversation. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do. <sighs> Why can't I just crawl on the ground? Instead, I have to do the stupid thing where I crouch along the thing and get seen. to converse with someone on my own level. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. <laughs> yeah, Vitality 3. Actually, I think I... Yeah, with, because of that one, I... Well, might as well, I guess. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... 
the river crusts, yes, I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. Anything else? Is I think honestly thought Wow. Well anyway. Right. Bravo. Good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, nearly rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with these, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Honestly, I've just gonna get the blueprints. After listening, well, it is that episode. I know it was too good to be true. Seems the conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and, and discard him. But they have erred and delivered to me an ally almost as brilliant as myself. Old Sokolov and I will hold up here until we can blast the ruffians outside and make for the academy. Okay. God, I'm so over. If he comes back, I'll earn another Nice. Well. I got plenty of money. You see nothing. Done quickly. Yeah, you can make stuff later. Oh, you're here somewhere, scum. Astonishing. All right, you get off this time. The arc pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With 
This device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? Kill them all. No. <laughs> As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? Sure. That just means you're being lazy. No one will dare come near us. like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. How do you keep moving around? Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. <laughs> this Piero of yours. Strange mind. How much more dialogue can you possibly have? Well, if there is a cure to the plague, I believe we will find it. The old Empress would have liked that. She was a strange one. Stranger, I think, than you ever knew. But such things are past. And this new Empress, she's a strange one too. I wish you peace, Corvo. Along with all the delights you can wring from the world. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. I'll do what you want, but ask quickly. <laughs> so cool. Alright, no more upgrades? Some reason I can't make Sokolov's remedy at the moment. Interesting. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. Okay. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. 
I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the Watch won't see him. Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. I had one job. Take care of Emily. Uh, I I'm just interested in listening to all the dialogue at this point. Go after Emily. I'll be fine. I really can't believe they did this, but if they were willing to kill to get what they wanted, I guess they'd be willing to do anything. Havelock is a power-hungry bastard. I can't stand the thought of her in his dirty hands. He knew you wouldn't let him use her. I can't go with you. I'll be okay here. Just go. I guess the Admiral had a change of heart. And maybe Martin helped him along. Pendleton just went with them. That coward. Okay. I thought I'd find you here. But it never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do. I'll wait for you as long as I can. This place gives me the creeps now. Havelock's lost his mind. Are you ready yet? Let's go before we're found. Are you ready yet? <laughs> Alright, that's just random dialogue. Okay. So, I could just go around and loot everything, but really, this is the last point where money will have any... anything. And that notice is everywhere. And here is where the clue to where he's going. <coughs> going. So only other thing worth doing. Well, one thing will be to drink up. I, Admiral Farley Havelock, humbly accept the mantle of Lord Regent of the State of Crystal and all of its imperial possessions, notably the capital city of Dunwall. I fervently hope my tenure will be a short one and that the rightful heir will take her place within a mere decade or so. Is it? I just saw something and then I completely forgot. All right, I wanted to. I hereby claim the title. Okay, that's completely locked. All right. Then all that's left really is that I can just see if there's any new. Um... That's the same. I'm not liking the look of this one bit. That party died down in yeah, right. awful fast, and now they called all the staff together. I said one more package for me to deliver, and I think I'll be keeping station at a safe distance from the riverbank and keep an eye on things for a while. Okay, I think that basically covers it. Oh wait, no, there's more. I've never actually looked in my own room. 
That's it. Audio file wise, so definitely. Alright. Other place where you can learn where they're going. Ah, it's a bigger one, bigger drawing. And a little loose money. All right, we're good to go. There's <laughs> Wallace and Lydia, or whatever. So much armor. This is like the only time you can get these guys unconscious. Really, you can't. You can't get them with sleep darts. The armor is too thick. So weird listening to that thing. Okay. <laughs> nice freeze frame. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Okay. So, at any rate, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And to you, I say, Aloha!